Hey, hey guys, Scott Carell here coming to you from my home in Vernon, New Jersey. I wanted to switch it up a little bit today and shoot a video outside. Uh, this is my front yard, a uh, beautiful fall day. Uh, so I figured I'd take it outside today, do something a little different. But guys, uh, today is going to be part two of our seven part series on the traveler's gift and how it pertains to your MLM success. And if you haven't seen the first video that I shot yesterday, then stop the video now and look in the description below and take a look. Uh, I'll leave the, the link for, the, for video one and then you can see uh, what went on about that yesterday. So yesterday was the responsible decision, okay? Today, in part two, we're gonna talk about uh, the second decision, which is seeking wisdom, okay? So in the book, uh, the, the, the character David Ponder, like, uh, like we talked about yesterday, he's going through uh, history and speaking to a few historical figures, right? So he comes across uh, King David in this chapter, and he's speaking to him about seeking wisdom. And when it comes to seeking wisdom and it comes to our uh, MLM success, uh, it, it really boils down to who we're listening to. Um, are you counseling with yourself? Are you counseling with the wrong people? Um, in, in the book, it actually says, you know, someone who, and I'm paraphrasing, but it's, it says um, a person who seeks his own counsel is limited by their own, you know, by what, limited by what they already know but a wise man seeks the counsel of others. So in your company, in your program, in your uh, MLM, you should be seeking people in your upline who have the success that you want to have. They, you should be seeking mentors that uh, live the way you want to live. And I'm not just talking about money and possessions. I'm talking about leadership skills, communication skills. You want to surround yourself with people who can teach you the skills not only to earn money but to just life skills, leadership skills, all that, that important stuff that's going to make you a leader uh, in the future. Not just somebody who's looking to make 500 bucks a month but somebody who's looking to help other people create freedom. Alright guys, so seeking wisdom. Alright, you, you've all heard the, the term before you are, you are an average of the five Oh, there's a car behind me. You're, you're an average of the, uh, of the five people that you surround yourself with. Your income is going to be an average of the five people you surround yourself with. So are you hanging out with broke people? Are you looking for counsel with them? Are you seeking counsel with them? Or are you looking to seek out mentors, leaders, people who have wisdom and pick their brain, develop relationships with them? All right, guys. Um, like I said before, I'm going to leave the link for yesterday's video in this video in the description below all right guys uh that's it and again if you haven't read the traveler's gift then i highly recommend that you go to amazon or whatever and uh, pick yourself up a copy because the book is incredible it's it's fantastic all right andy andrews tells an amazing story in this book and uh and that's that but uh guys that's all i have for today wanted to do just this quick uh, lesson on the second chapter, the second decision for achieving uh, success. And uh, specifically, we're talking about MLM success. Okay, uh, that's all I have for today, guys. Hey, success is a choice. Seek wisdom. All right, guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.